Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Democracy 3, the American Police State. When we last left off, I was saving some political capital. There's a stress epidemic. Uh, we're working people too hard and can dangerous high levels of stress. Mad, they'll suck it up. Our employment's down, our crime's down, our health is shit, our education's okay, and our, we have a lot of poverty. But I think something important to tackle right now is to reduce our, our um, maybe get to a surplus as opposed to a deficit. I think one of the best ways to do that would be to cut funding. And I could cut the... That'd, take, that'd be a big delay. I could cancel this outright. It makes Patriots upset. It, oh, it decreases unemployment. I wonder how many people are like, I'm a rocket... I'm an unemployed rocket scientist. I couldn't find a job anywhere else. My lim, my knowledge is too limited to rockets. Like, they're not smart enough to like get in, like another crazy high-tech job in this like really high-tech economy we have. I've noticed America does start America does start with a lot of blue, which is kind of interesting. So to decrease the deficit, let's do you want to want to increase taxes or decrease spending? Let's uh, let's decrease taxes actually. So or decrease spending rather. My bad. So what's what's a chunk of the pie we can get rid of? Police force, God no. Uh, debt interest, I'm hoping to get that down. Rail subsidies. I don't want to get a rail strike like I did, um, like you start with in Canada, but what does this start at, like, 50 million? Yeah, let's cut that down to, like, low. Alright, so it's medium. Let's bring it down to low, like, 35. Maybe that'll help there. Um, state schools, science funding. Wow, science funding's that much of it, eh? I mean, that's fine. Nothing wrong with some science funding. Road building. Yeah, it decreases unemployment. I don't know. It's not really that important to this kind of playthrough being, um... We're not being green. I've got to get out of that mindset I usually have. In my life and in this game. Corporation tax. That seems very, uh, un-American. 16%. I could do, try to do a very libertarian run at some point. Just cancel every single policy other than military and police. I'd probably get assassinated right quick by someone who's like, You took away my health care. Get private health care. Read and Rand. Not that those police are necessarily wrong. Shit, yeah, um no, it's Who do I need to like me more? Parents. There are a lot of reasons parents do not like me. One of them is narcotics, which I really should be below the trigger now oh wow state health services it's such a it's a big part of my funding but it really isn't that much funding but it would help how much it doesn't even help drug addiction that much but oh we do have private health care in America which I guess is meant to offset that it's already a maximum of funding so hmm Maybe there's a policy I can specifically implement to help with drug addiction here. A needle exchange program? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, nope, that doesn't help at all. But I mean, I guess it's good for health. Drug addiction itself is bad enough already, and dirty or infecting needles are an additional danger due to drug addicts. Delta needle exchange program, we help addicts to get clean and needles they need while offering them help to get clean. Yeah, so it's supposed to help them get clean. So, you know what? That'll help our narcotics program. Or help not we don't have a narcotics program, we are removing the narcotics program. You know what? I might just cancel the space program. Because Patriots are gonna love me because of all of what I'm doing over here. And it's a lot of money. And I know space is cool. Super, super cool. Oh, one of your cabinet managers needs to talk to you urgently and privately. They're not very loyal. Oh, they're an environmentalist and a commuter. How the turntables. Oh my god. Uh, ban public smoking? Yes, that's a very police statey kind of thing. For the good of everyone. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's a good time to reshuffle our cabinet. Yeah, it was a, yeah, let's reshuffle that cabinet. Foreign policy. So, who's foreign policy? They're conservative and religious. 
Don't know how well I'm doing in those groups, but I don't think it's terribly. Uh, that whispering at this part's really creepy, I think. But anyway. Foreign policy. Foreign policy. Law and order. Oh, wait, they're an environmentalist and a liberal. That might not be the best in this run. Service and trade unionist? You won't be, you might be good later. But, um, foreign policy, environmentalist, capitalist. Yeah, because there's a ton of those, right? I know there, there are some, but it's a minority. Hmm. There are a lot of capitalists. Farmers and religious? You know what? Farmers like me enough that that might not be bad. Welfare. Let's start at the bottom. Because we started at the bottom, and now we're here. Not welfare, not welfare, not welfare, not welfare, not welfare. Oops. Uh, welfare, environmentalist. Nah. I really could. It's so easy to get environmentalists on your side in this kind of game. But they're, they're state employees, man. They are loyal. You know what? Yeah. So, um, I don't think our environment's too bad. So which one is that? Economy. Youth capitalist. I don't know. Because I... No, because these probably don't like us too much because of the, um, the drug laws and the alcohol laws. Because in America it's a lot higher, so maybe not. Conservative environmentalist? There are a lot of environmentalists here. I think that's disproportionate to the actual American system, but maybe not. Patriot and capitalist. Pa yeah, actually, you might not be too bad. And that's a five, too, so that, that was probably one of my main uh Tax. Okay. Just tax. No taxation without representation. Um. I think oh, he's loyal for now. Public service. Mm. Farmers and liberal. Actually, no. I think in this game I'm going to try to do more of a balance between conservative and liberal than I was than traditionally. But I think there might be a, I might have a more conservative swing being a police state and whatnot. You might, not bad, but you're 2.9. Sorry, I forgot which one I was doing. Public service. Public service, public service. Not a socialist. That would not be good now. Um... Sorry if this isn't the high action kind of gameplay democracy being normally has. It's like, you know, there should be like a search kind of feature here. Like, I want only the public service people because I'm hiring for public service. Uh, do I want religious? Maybe not. Hmm, there's not, I'm not seeing a lot that might be good here for public service. Conservative environmentalist? You know what, let's go with that for now. Law and order. Liberal, conservative, religious. So that was yeah, law number. SD, got it. Okay, D -d 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 -d. religious capitalist, environmentalist capitalist, conservative religious, conservative capitalist. Hmm. I guess I can just hire. Like I can just fire them. I don't have to pick like a cabinet and just stick with them. Because I think. Um, one of my last games I had, I didn't change my captain like at all. And they just kind of loved me. Well, I was doing like a police everyone kind of run in Canada. So you just kind of go socialist and you just kind of win. Um, no, not socialist. I'm just thinking in my head. I'm like, no, don't. Uh, law and order liberal socialist. Law and order environmentalist capitalist. God damn. Religious capitalist. Conservative religious. You know what? Is she the one that had, like, an issue with me, actually? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of good choices. Let's... I know I've been... Uh... You for now, because you're higher. Transport. I know some of these might go down, like, if, when I don't reflect them, but whatever. Not important. We're living in the now, man. We're living in the now. I notice the longer I record, the quieter I get. I'm gonna really try and like, prevent that. 
Uh, liberal parents? Parents? No, parents don't like me too much. I think my... I could reduce the handgun loss, but that would take a while. Farmers... You know what? Whatever. Let's do it. Yeah, farmers love me, capitalists love me, liberals... Oh, fuck. Dude. How many liberals did I hire? God damn it. I might have fucked up pretty bad. Too used to play in Canada. One liberal, two liberal. Yeah, I fucked that up. That might have been bad. That might have been my bad. If I just hired him, fire him, or fire him immediately. Well, maybe the farmers will offset. Fire seven capital. Holy crap! God damn. That'll make people not like me. But I fucked that one up. I apologize. I need a better one. Conservative and religious. Environmental capitalist. Uh, Socialist, liberal, god no. That might not be too bad. Like a conservative farmer law and order would be great. Let's do you. No reason. Let's try this for now. I don't know how well it's gonna play out. It's most of my political capital for the quarter, changing that all around. Yeah, conservatives, where are you? Yeah, they love me, okay. That's what I thought. And state employees. I think my minorities, is that... Are they on here? Yeah. Um, border control tests, ra uh, racial tension. Why do we have racial tension? Mainly citizenship tests. Um, I could cancel that. How many Patriots do I have on my thing here? One. I have one Patriot, one Ethnic Minority, so maybe I'll just reduce it. Racial tension goes down, Patriots go down, yeah. Just kind of like bring that to like a lower level. Corporate manslaughter bill. Ooh. Oh wow, the GDP tanked. What am I doing? Uh, this law is necessary to deter companies from cutting corners when it comes to the safety of their employees and members of the public. Too many people die every year in industrial accidents and often there's no lesson to be learned. No blame to be boarded. This law will step forward to corporate responsibility. You know what? Let's... Let's do it. It seems like we're telling everyone what to do. And I'm a fan of that in this run. I guess that's very like that's very a big that's a very big government kind of socialist mindset. So why are the, why is everyone going down? Does that have to do with my cabinet? Let's where's my report? It's not what I want. I want this polls report. Um, forty six percent of the vote if there was an election. That's not great. Why is the GDP going down? Skill shortage. I have, oh right, shit. I really need to work on that. Is our education so bad? I thought our education was alright. Wait, if there's a negative skill... No, because it's it's a, it's bad. I need to stall the trigger, so I need to reduce this by... Alright, businesses tell that they can simply cannot find enough skilled and trained people to employ. The modern economy is increasingly skill-based and our citizens aren't educated enough. Alright, so I'll boost education. Let's do it. State schools? Oh wow, let's do, um, you know what? It'll really reduce unemployment and poverty, it'll make socialists happy. Who's it gonna piss off? Oh, it'll really reduce private schools, but I mean, clearly that wasn't working. <laughs> Hopefully making America, I'm not gonna get like a capitalist assassination plot, am I? Cause like, we don't have, it's all business grant, yeah. Help the capitalists out. I know I just said I was trying to work on my deficit, and then I just cranked it up, so good job, Cameron. So, I increased spending, so maybe I can increase taxes. Um, this will help the environmentalists. Oh, I don't have enough political capital to do that, never mind. 
deficit. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's going up, which is not what I want. Yeah, I just, I just like, made state schools my number one. My state schools and my science funding. I just brought that way up. So I need to bring my income up. So... Yeah, let's do some more taxes, I guess, because that's... Capital gains tax. Hmm. I know I do have a capitalist, but... What do the wealthy feel about me? I haven't really looked at that yet. No, they're pretty happy with me because... Gated communities, really, that's all it takes. So I can increase gated I can increase gated communities funding and kind of increase some of these taxes. I don't have the capital to raise any of these taxes anyway, so let's go next next term. Ethnic plot. I just Oh, fuck me. Our latest security reports indicate a growing threat from the extremist groups, Black Power Group. It looks like a number of people are angry about the government policy affecting ethnic minorities and seek a way to limit the current government by force. Uh, all right, thanks for the advice. Obesity, great. Slash job scandal, awesome. And our, GD our GDP and our budget terrible. All right, so like ethnic minority that I have on my um my advisor board, he's probably not thrilled with me right now. Uh, okay, racial tension. Biometric checks, really. There's the racial tension. It's not very popular with the voters, but... Hmm. So, neg negative ethnic minorities. Does that mean they'll like... They don't like... Yeah, they don't like this, so... Let's bring it down to passport checks. That'll save a little bit of money, not a lot. And then... Corporate tax. I don't want a capitalist to hate me so much, though. Maybe I'll pick on the wealthy and do an inheritance tax. But that's nowhere near as much money, so maybe... You know what? Just do income tax. It's like, sliding this at all is like a massive amount. So, our deficit is... All of... 200 billion dollars like every quarter so I need to bring it to like here that's fucking crazy but let's bring oh I don't have enough capital fuck me and I need to work on obesity child labor laws hmm I don't know we're very police statey but that's a very liberal idea too many of our younger citizens are leaving schools early in order to take low-paying jobs. Some are even skipping school to work full-time when they should be learning. The law is currently very weak in with regards to preventing companies from employing under 16s in full-time. The, the proposed law would make it criminal offense to knowingly employ someone under 16 for more than five hours a week. You know what? That's not ridiculous. Like, I got my first job when I was about 16, but working younger than that seems kind of crazy. And I think this one might help the, uh, our education problem we've been having. I like how I fixed crime, but everything else is completely fucked right now. So, you know, don't let me run your country, people. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Two, six, so that's good. Hopefully this won't cause many riots. But who am I kidding? Someone will be incredibly pissed off about it. And obesity was a big problem, so let's do some social engineering here. Um... Free school meals might not be bad. Healthy eating campaign. Why is that not popular? Um, there's a lot of stuff here that could really help out with that. I know in Canada you can just like do a health health uh, health food subsidy. Is there, not, there should be like search or something. I guess because these icons aren't are helping a whole lot right now. I'm looking for like a health food subsidy or junk food tax. I know taxing junk food in America. Ugh. Sorry, Americans. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Hmm. No, I don't want to. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just implement something new. I haven't implemented this in a while. You know what? Free school meals. It'll help reduce obesity. Not a lot, actually. But it'll help out with poverty of the poor. Yeah, you know what? Um, let's do it high. Let's not go extreme with it. I think the poor like me a little more. They're a large portion of our population. We still have this in this issue, but it's because our technology is huge. So unless I cripple our technology, there isn't a lot I can do it. Actually, implementing new um, police policies might help, but I think I have some more important problems right now with my... Oh, wait. Is my deficit... No, wait. Negative deficit... No, no, a positive deficit, it means it's a positive negative, which means a negative. Um, canceling that takes a lot of power, so maybe we'll do that next time. I don't know, my, maybe I need to bump up my popularity because my term's running, at, uh, my term's getting close to ending. But uh, those school, oh my god, we're a C, we're triple C now. But our education's going up, our poverty's going down. Oh my god, okay, we really need to work on GDP right now, this is... This is bad. Probably, how much of this is our debt? Debt interest, yeah, Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. What can we do? Here's our, how do we get to the GDP viewing thing again? I'm getting more and more, I'm getting, uh, I'm turning 11, is that where I am now? I guess I'm getting more liberal, and I'm getting, oops, I'm getting more, I think I'd be getting more conservative with, I guess, oh, I guess it's all these, like, kind of, um, social policies I'm implementing to try and get everyone to like me more, the poor are liking me more, so I guess that's good, but, um, GDP is being tanked by the global economy trapping condition, skill sorted, yeah, it is definitely the skill shortage. immigration, really, Hmm. I just improved immigration to stop the black, uh, what is it? Uh, they got the extremist group from trying to hate me. They're not even extremists. They're like, don't be nice to ethnic minorities. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think of some good way to show this skill storage. Skill shortage. You know what? Yeah, let's just fund some more education things here. Um. Yeah, that's only another... Yeah, let's do that. That'll help. Uh, school vouchers. But that just helps private... Or I guess helping private schools would in turn help education. So you know what, maybe... Do I have enough... Yeah, I do. How much can I increase this right now? Because... My deficit. Actually, you know, increasing. So, in a long-term sort of way, what I'm thinking about increasing this would it increase my deficit, but it would it would increase my deficit, but it would increase private schools, which would increase education, which would work towards reducing the skill shortage. Also, it helps the poor earnings like me. So, that would also, you know, help up my political um, the re-election that's coming up soon. So, I think. Let's bring this to a 70 billion. So that might help there. And then... Kind of getting further and further away from uh, this, but it's because we like have so many other problems popping up right now. Still have an obesity problem. Which... What is it doing? It's not really doing a whole lot. It's making state health services cast. Actually, it's a fair bit more. Those agri- wow, it's basically all agriculture subsidies, okay. Maybe that is more of a problem than I thought it would, because... So what I'm- I guess what you'd have to do then would be to balance the cost of a... Like some sort of healthy food act kind of thing with the amount of- the amount you're spending on your, um, public school system. Which is interesting. That, 
That's not too expensive, and that might actually help out with our education problem. It costs 12 of our capital. Um, healthy eating campaign. You know what? Yeah. Sure. That's not a whole lot. It basically costs like nothing. Oh, health food subsidies. There we go. Just a few of these like really tiny bills that just like, they just make people happy. To distract from the real problems like our tanking economy. I think that might be a good plan right now. Increases education. Yeah, skill short. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Yeah. Alright. That should make put me in a much better spot, I think. Internet economy takes off. Great. Rail strike, because I took away their subsidies. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Our health's improving. Crime still our unemployment. It's going up, so I think that's a good thing, right? I think that's a good thing. But our rail strike, yeah, so we're gonna need to subsidize the rail people. Um, labor laws. If I improve the labor laws too, that would actually, really labor laws are helping more, are hurting it more than um, anything else. Yeah, so this is probably helping us with our cap. Actually, it's not even making capitalists like us that much. Hmm. So. I can bring this down to, like, a flat neutral and get not a lot of negatives. It'll really help with my rail strike. Um, this doesn't cost a whole lot. Trading this to hate me because they're a socialist hate me probably a capitalist and like me a bit. It makes, oh, it's productivity, I guess, would be the, uh, big one so I don't want to bring productivity into the negative so if I bring it here it'll really it'll reduce my rail strike a bit but not a lot keep productivity make capitalists happy yeah oh I don't have to raise it really damn is my cabinet like pissed at me or something because how's this working um you're not doing well and why is that sir that's because you're a liberal So maybe, yeah, this will... Mm. Yeah, that was a bad idea on my part again, hiring liberals. Because I'm not a very liberal party in this game. Once again, not in real life, so... Transport, that would be... Farmers and conservative, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll turn into something good, I think. I think I, mean, I think minority situation is improving, so I'll leave you for now. And the rail strike is, yeah, this. Oh wait, that's biofuel. Whoops, my bad. Where's my um rail usage, rail subsidies? They're on low, and then so wait, increasing subsidies? Oh wait, oh the amount it's increasing is the amount it decreases the rail strike. It's so expensive. Is the rail what's the rail strike doing that that's it's not even it harms the GDP a bit, which I guess is you know incredibly important because our GDP is tanking. So, and our deficit is massive, probably because most of it is debt. But um, you know what? Let's fix the situation as it occurs. So yeah, let's bring it to. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Sure. That'll solve that problem, hopefully. This will go away when the health food subsidies is implemented, hopefully. I might have to do um, more of those kind of things. That is going to take like an internet, internet censorship bill, which I don't have the power to implement really right now. I'm winning. I'm barely, I'm barely winning right now. Let's save some of that capital. Credit rating. Oh my god. Wait. Triple C is better than double C. Okay. I'm getting real sick of seeing this credit downgrading. Our health is terrible because of pollution, alcohol abuse, drug addiction, obesity. Fantastic. Help. Um, I guess that's helping though. Hmm. So, oh, farmers are liking me less. Goddamn. 
Well, I think, I guess my timer did go off. So, um, anyway, this part may be a little longer than the last, but, um, thanks for watching. This was Let's Play Democracy 3, the American Police State. We didn't do a whole lot of policing this time around. We did mainly a lot of, you know, recovering from spending all of our political power on decreasing the crime rate so much. But I think, I think we're getting there. Alright, and, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.